is why the bundling thing is a great idea. I applaud you, Gmail. Do, 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 Cassidy Quinn. Hey guys, it's me, Cassidy Quinn. As you probably know by now, I love social media and technology and all those fun kinds of things. So when a new social network or app or product is released, I'd like to test it out. A little while ago, I signed up for and tried out Ello, which is a new invite-only social network. But today, I'm going to test out another app that is also invite-only. Google, or Gmail, recently released an app called Gmail Inbox. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I am in a constant struggle, just a constant battle with my inbox trying to get it to zero. Not even trying to get it to zero, just trying to not have like thousands of unread messages. And I do use Gmail, and I love using Gmail, except when it locks me out of my inbox for hours or days at a time, telling me that there is an unusual amount of usage on my accounts, so they've temporarily disabled it, blah, 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 blah. If you follow me on Twitter, which you should, then you've probably seen me tweet about this like every week. I get really mad about it. Anyways, this new app is supposed to help with sorting through your emails in a different way. And maybe it will help me not get kicked out of my email all the time. I got my invite. I thought I would bring you guys along for the ride and see how it goes. Inbox by Gmail. The inbox that works for you. So is this like a personal assistant? So. Here, it's gonna tell me about some uh, little tidbits. Inbox bundles up clutter and gets it out of your way. See highlights instantly, no need to dig through emails. Okay, that's kind of nice that it'll show you your flight reservations, places, and calendar events, maybe? Add reminders to the top of your inbox. Now that reminders part already sounds to me like it'll be something I will use a lot because I very often fully intend to respond to emails and I just open them up, look at them, then mark them as unread again so that I remember to look at them later. But if I actually had a reminder in my email to do it, maybe I would actually do it. Snooze emails and reminders to come back to your inbox when you want. That is what I am talking about. Welcome to Inbox by Gmail. Oh my gosh. This email also tells me that I can use Inbox by Gmail on my computer. You just go to inbox.google.com in Google Chrome. There goes Google making moves like Apple, aka not letting their programs work on anyone else's software. You can file feedback with them to tell you what you like or don't like about it. Is Inbox going to replace Gmail? No, do not worry. Your Gmail isn't going anywhere. Nothing is happening to Gmail. This is just a different thing. You can try if you want to. So you can already see I've gotten one email since I just opened this app. Now one big issue with sorting through your inbox and getting your inbox to zero all the time is spam emails. And not just bad spam emails, but spam emails that you hypothetically do want. Like, oh, there's a sale at the Gap, there's a sale at Old Navy, there's a sale at Express, there's a sale at everywhere in the universe, especially as we approach Black Friday. But you can see here in Inbox that it tells you what it interprets at least as low priority emails. So I click there. Low priority includes messages you are less likely to read. It's bundled in your inbox. And you can disable this bundling if you want to. I think this is a great idea. Except it has already bundled a new comment on one of my videos as low priority. I love comments on my videos. So uh, I'm gonna attempt to make those not low priority and then you should go comment on my video. Now most of these other things you can see are low priority. <laughs> Now let's just explore around here. What happens when I click this yellow? That is not yellow. Let's see what happens when I click this red plus sign down here. I can compose an email, set a reminder, or email, I'm guessing those are the top three people that I most email. Typical. Let's set a reminder. Remember to edit this video and set a time for it later today, sure. Cool, let's see what making a new email looks like. We'll write to my mom. Do 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 Say something. <laughs> That's deep and makes a lot of sense. I'm not gonna send this to my mom because she would think I was going insane or on drugs. What does this do at the top? Oh, pinned. So you can pin emails. Anything you pin shows up here so you can keep track of the things you need to get back to. That 
sounds excellent. Like I said, I always mark emails as unread so that I remember to respond to or deal with them later. But sometimes I also star things so that I can find them in my email later. But here, I could pin something and they will be at the top of my email, hypothetically. So, let's try it out. Click that pin up there. Reply to comment. There we go. Tap here to see your pin things. Got it. I feel like those got it prompts are a little hostile. Got it? Get it, got it, good. You got it? We're moving on now. I got it, okay? It looks like if I click here, I can actually play a video and it will automatically open up YouTube and start playing the video. That's a little bit of a time saver. Now it looks like there's a menu over here, so if I swipe, all of this pops up. And here are the bundles. Travel, purchases, finance, low priority. Let's see if the purchases one works. Walgreens order confirmation, receipt from Macy's, order from Michael's, I ordered a Christmas tree online. It was fake. It's not like a real tree getting shipped in the mail, okay? Does that make it better or worse? So it seems like the purchases bundle actually works really well. And that is something that seems useful to me at least because I always star any e-receipt that I get in my inbox so that I can find it later. So I can go and find the tracking information and figure out how long it's gonna be till it gets to me. I got it, Google. Let's try another bundle, travel. Travel includes travel related emails such as flight confirmations and hotel reservations. Got it. Finance. Hmm. Finance includes finance related emails such as bills and bank statements. Got it. Then you can also tell things to skip the inbox and go straight into separate folders. Gmail has already discovered that I get a lot of emails from Mashable and Thrillist, so it looks like those will skip the inbox and go straight here. And there are probably websites like that that you guys subscribe to that you get news alerts every single day from and then you don't actually have to look at them unless you want to. There is a social thing. Social includes messages from social networks and other social media services. I got it. So now if I ever wanted to just go through and respond to YouTube comments or LO notifications or write on people's YouTube walls if they subscribe to my channel, because that is something I actually do. There's also updates. Includes notifications from online accounts such as alerts and confirmations. Got it. Forums, messages from mailing lists and discussion groups. And promos. Oh, here we go. Promos includes marketing emails such as deals and offers. Now on this one, I am going to click enable bundling because look at all the emails I get. 35% off, 25% off, $100 off, every, wait, $100 off? Do you see how easily I get distracted by these sale emails? So now they will all skip my inbox be filtered somewhere else. So if you swipe to the right, it puts a little check mark there showing that it is done. So that's handy, then it just gets them out of the way. And if you swipe the other way to the left, it opens up a snooze slash reminder screen. Now let's try out the desktop version. Inbox.google.com. The inbox that works for you. Doesn't that just sound kind of creepy? Kind of makes me think of Smart House. Inbox bundles up clutter and gets it out of your way. See highlights instantly. Do I really have to go through all this again, Google? I said I got it. So this basically looks how it looks on your phone, just uh, bigger. This is apps, so I can get straight to YouTube, Google Drive, Calendar, News, Maps, and there's all my Google Plus notifications. Stop trying to make Google Plus happen. It's never going to happen, but inboxes fetch. There's a huge search bar at the top, in case you couldn't find it before, and you can also compose emails. Let's see what it looks like when we open an email. Interesting. It still keeps your promos, your low priority, your reminders, and your pinned messages at the top. And you have to scroll down to open the actual email. And then if you keep scrolling, you go back to everything else in your inbox. I am so used to the way the regular Gmail inbox looks that I'm just kind of confused. I'm just so used to, here's my regular inbox, but over here, it is just a whole new world full of gadgets and gizmos aplenty. Another thing I've noticed is that I don't think the focus here is really on deleting emails. You can check that it's done, or to delete it, there's no place on the front of the email to delete it. If you click this little menu over here, you can move it to trash, but I think the point here is you're supposed to click done, and then you're just done with it. And you can undo marking things as done 
which is nice. So in regular or old email as you could call it, I think the point most of the time is to delete emails and get them out of your inbox so that your inbox can eventually get down to zero. But here, are you not supposed to delete them? I don't know. There's literally not a delete button. There's just move to trash. And doesn't done or a little check mark just seem a lot more positive than a garbage can? Instead of deleting, you're checking it off as done. It's like accomplishing things on your to-do list, but I can just literally check off that I did all of these online shopping. That is done. I've had a productive day now. Okay, so I think that is about it for exploring inbox for now. Obviously I have a lot more exploring and figuring out to do. I still need to go sort through my inbox. Seriously, every free weekend I have, I spend at least a couple of hours sorting through emails. So I don't know exactly how that will work with this new app. Maybe with inbox, the point isn't even to get to zero, it's just to be able to find what you wanna find. Because now that I think about it, it doesn't look like Anywhere on here, it shows how many unread emails you have in your inbox. It does show how many are in each bundle, but in the regular inbox, it tells you 235 emails. Maybe the point here is that your inbox is not supposed to stress you out. It is just supposed to help you accomplish things, contact people, sort your life out, get your stuff together without giving you a constant reminder of, hey, there's 300 things you have not looked at. There's 500 things you meant to respond to a week ago, but you haven't, and it's been a year. So far, my first impression of the new Gmail inbox app is a good one. It seems like this will definitely help declutter my inbox. I really, really like the pinning and reminder features. It's basically like Google is saying, hey, listen world, we know that 99% of you are all procrastinators. So we're gonna help you out with that. And that's what living life is about, embracing our bad qualities and using technology to fix them. If that is not the solution to life's problems, I don't know what is. Not like anyone ever thought I knew the solution to life's problems. Anyway, I'm gonna try to mostly use this new inbox on my phone and on my computer when I'm looking at my email for at least the next little while so that I can test it out and give it a fair shot. And while I do that, I will tweet any big revelations or discoveries that I have with inbox on my Twitter. So let me know in the comments below what you think about the new Gmail inbox app. Do you think this will be super useful? Do you think most Gmail users will switch over to using it? Or do you think it will just be kind of like Google Plus where most people at least neglect it after a short period of time? If you have something else that you're curious about, let me know in the comments below. Especially if it is something that is invite only because I have my ways of spamming people on Twitter until they give me an invite. I'm gonna go start sorting through all of my emails, and I will see you guys next week. Bye! And here are the bum- bumbles. I have no idea what I just did. So like, control Z? Apps, products, all kinds of fun things. Fun, fun things. I obviously love doing videos like this. I can't talk! Ugh, this is what happens when I spend all my time on a computer.